If you look carefully, you see all the dots yeah. everywhere? The old baby spiders. From a research point of view, this is the spider that keeps on giving. After previously identifying over 100 venom toxins common with the black widow species, and then the impact bites can have on humans, scientists at NUI Galway have now recorded the first case of the noble false widow preying on mammals. Shropshire resident Ben Wadhams alerted researchers after finding a bat pulp entangled in a spider's web close to the entrance to a roost in his attic. A bat is several hundred times the weight of the spider, and yet this species is capable of just wrapping the prey in silk and then inject a very potent um, toxin, a very potent venom into the prey, immobilise it and then eat it. The noble false widow originated in the Canary Islands and Madeira, but has been spreading worldwide in the last two decades. It's now one of the most common spiders found in urban settings here. Two jars containing two spiders, which to the naked eye can look quite similar. This is a common house spider. This is a noble false widow. The difference between the two is that the noble false widow has a bulbous abdomen, which is kind of a giveaway if you're worried about these kind of things. Used to be as a kid, not anymore. As a kid, I used to be terrified of anything running across my floor. God, I used to keep in tarantulas and now I keep a load of them and work in this lab time to time. Researchers in Galway are now examining how adaptable the spiders are and looking at the potential impact their spread could have on native species. Pat McGrath, RTE News, Galway.